Well, now <laughs> we have Sundance reviews from the Indie Angle team in Utah. Sundance, it is exactly what it claims to be. Uh, Rutger Hauer stars in the film, uh, playing a nameless hobo who rides the rails into Scumtown, the worst city on the planet, and he takes a stand for decency and starts to clean up the streets by murdering everybody. It is exciting and gruesome, people were screaming, cheering, it is the perfect movie for a midnight crowd. It definitely has a tone of this this irresponsible cop, but at the same time, you really like him. He's all about whoring and, and doing drugs and, and being a little bit crazy. This is definitely in the same realm as films like Snatch. Like a wonderful, hard-boiled detective novel come to the screen with all sorts of very witty jokes. If you like British humor, if you like that kind of comedy, you're gonna love this. This is one of those films that didn't get a lot of buzz early on in the festival, but by the end, everybody was giving it standing ovations. It's rich, it's meaningful, the acting is there, the screenwriting is there. Even though it's from a first-time director, you would never guess it. The cinematography is gorgeous. The way that the story plays out is absolutely perfect. The performances that she gets from her actors are absolutely amazing. This, this, this film just reeks of craftsmanship that just does feel like in any way, shape, or form this is from a first-time director. It's really impressive. The music, the colors, the lack of colors in certain scenes. Uh, just really a risky film on a number of levels, but yet a really powerful, really important, and really well-made film. It's about a couple of meth addicts living in a trailer park who knock each other up and have a demon baby. It is grotesque. Uh, there's a lot of spitting, a lot of swearing, some nasty meth teeth. Uh, uh, there's a birth scene that uh, makes Knocked Up look like a league of their own. It's a lot of fun, and because it was co-produced by Funny or Die, it will certainly be making its way to the internet soon. So if you're a fan of these guys, check it out. If you don't know about them, be warned. Check it out when you get a chance. It's about him trying to make a movie that is completely funded by sponsors. I think what, what he's setting out to do and where the documentary ends up wanting to go are two very different things. Based on his experiences with some of these different agencies, uh, the direction that the documentary kind of wants to take is more of like a moral stance. But he can't go there because he's constrained by who's funding his film, and in fact, one of his sponsors has final cut rights on it. For me, it wasn't my favorite documentary. Mommy, where's Daddy? He's running. From what? The film completely lives up to its title. Everything from the relationships to the acting to the story, which was extremely simple but very well told. Another great part about this film was the use of the word shit. Everybody in this film at one point or another will say the word shit, but they always use it in a different way to describe a different meaning, and it becomes this kind of continual joke. It's, it's a thing for the audience to kind of be inside on. It's a very simple story uh, about kind of a wayward boy who comes in and they take him in. Uh, Amy Ryans and Paul Giamatti play off each other absolutely beautifully. Every The casting from the kids to uh, the newcomer who kind of looks like Patrick Swayze but uh, acts more like Keanu Reeves, I guess you could say. Uh, it does an excellent job. It has an uplifting, sweet message that's really fun and really enjoyable and shouldn't be missed. It is the story of a 
critical 24 hour period uh, as soon as a fictionalized version of um, say Goldman Sachs discovers that the financial meltdown that took place in 2008 is uh, imminent. It uh, really lays out uh, Bear and writes in crayon uh, the precise reasons for the uh, financial meltdown, but it also explores the mindset of the types of people behind it. Very interesting film. Uh, check it out when it makes it to theaters. Probably one of the ballsiest films of Sundance 2011. Uh, that's really the best way to describe this film. It's big, it's bold, it's strong, it makes big powerful statements, it doesn't hold back. Everything from the way that it's being released to the performances within it to the story itself is absolutely over the top, impressive, and really well done. It's a huge breakthrough for Kevin Smith. It's completely different from anything that we've ever seen him do before. John Goodman, absolutely amazing. Melissa Leo will have you creeped out to your inner core with a tiny little smile. It's so well done for all those people who are hating on it. I don't know what they're complaining about it. It's a horror film in the true sense that it is absolutely horrifying. Absolutely amazing film, great propaganda surrounding it. Absolutely not to be missed. Check it out, find it where you can, see it. I see the promise of all forgiveness to set you free. I see the face of Jesus on my way this night. And my Savior is glad to comfort me. I fear God. You better believe I fear God. So keep your fingers crossed that some of these movies actually get distribution, since it's been pretty tough at Sundance for the past couple years.